Hi, Gemini people. The general reading for Gemini, um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Gemini strongly in their chart. Um, I welcome all of you here to the table. Um, it sure does make the world feel much smaller, doesn't it, when we can um, communicate in this way. All right, let's go ahead and look what's here in the current time frame for Gemini. Current, current energies for Gemini. What's happening now for the Gemini people? What's happening now for the Gemini people, please? What's happening now for the Gemini people? What's happening now for the Gemini people? What's happening now? What's happening now for the Gemini people? Right, what's upcoming? What's upcoming in the next seven to ten days? What is upcoming in the next seven to day, ten days for Gemini? What is Gemini going to be stepping into in the next seven to ten days? What will Gemini be stepping into in the next seven to ten days? What will Gemini be stepping into? What will Gemini be stepping into? Gemini be stepping into in the next seven to ten days. One more energy here. Gemini be stepping into. All right. Gemini, for this group of you, you are in a situation here that has been particularly difficult for you with the Ten of Swords. It's been painful. Um, you're at the point now of surrendering into this. Um, and what I mean surrendering into this, um, you no longer can take the pain of the situation. So something has to come to an end here. Something has to change. And I think that you're coming up with a plan. There hasn't really been any movement yet. There hasn't been any movement yet, but you're 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 coming up with a plan. Um, you have something in mind. You have some sort of change in mind that you're working on at this time. Um, it, it does involve um, a different way of moving forward for you. Definitely a different way of moving forward. Um, the encouragement that I can give you at this time is that this is going to be something that people see from you. This is going to be something that people respect from you. And I think it's going to be a welcome change. So um, it, it is, you're on the right track here. While you're not really seeing any new movement per se as of yet, um, the Wheel of Fortune is here. It is waiting to get started. And as soon as um, you begin stepping out in a different way, um, you will start to see movement start happening either with money or with just new momentum in your life, new problem solving, new results coming in, new resolutions starting to show up. Um, this is because of the actions you, you'll be taking, stepping out in a, in a new way. You could be feeling at this point in time that it isn't quite right, the quite not quite the right timing. Um, you might not have all of it figured out yet, um, but you're getting into a much more passionate, much more strong place in this experience. So you're at the end of this, at the end of this painful um, event that's that's been taking place. Um, you could still be feeling some pain here, anguish, betrayal. This could have been a long, a long term problem that you've had, and for some reason. It, it, you have just hit the, the breaking point of the situation. So you, you've, you're going to have to do something. And I think you're, you're hatching up a plan, um, to step out in a new way. This is something that is a little bit risky for you to do, but I do feel like, um, you're, you're feeling quite passionate about it. Um, at this point in the game, I think that you know that it's really the only way that you can move out of this 10 of swords. And, um, you're just, you're just developing your your new strategy at this point developing the strategy at this point getting ready to start pushing that wheel of fortune forward getting ready to start pushing but you kind of have to figure out where you're going to push it to 
What direction are you going to push it? How fast are you going to push it? Are you going to get other people to help you push it? You know, that kind of, that kind of a thing. Let's look at what's coming forward here, um, what you're going to be stepping into in the next period of time. A lot of energies came out. So we have the Four of Swords in reverse. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have Five of Cups in reverse. See, all these energies here are in reverse. That's telling me, well, we are looking at a future energy. And so um, lots of times um, when the cards are in reverse, I get energies of of, of these, of, of developing energies. Um, but we have the tower in the upright, justice in the reverse, king of pentacles in the reverse. So um, what I see here, and just because these cards are in reverse doesn't necessarily mean that the, these are negative energies. Um, what they're showing me is that they're building, they're being created. Um, this is a sort of a solution here that is being created by you because there is some sort of major event that's happening um, now for you or to be happening very soon for you. Um, this event is ultimately going to bring in more equality for you. Um, there is something that's quite unfair that's happening to you. Um, you are feeling like you don't have stability in your 3D life. There is something here with um, your wealth, with your abundance, with your um, estate, with where you are in life. Um, your security, your how you feel about your job, how you feel about your marriage, how you feel about your your life and what you do during that lifetime and what you own and what you care for. There is some sort of um, lack or insecurity around these things. There is an equality here um, that that is being rectified. Um, by this change that's coming in for you with the tower in the upright. What I see happening in the next short period of time, and this doesn't have to, because we have some really big energies here. Um, this could be a smaller type event um, that could happen in the next seven to ten, ten, seven to 10 days. But for some of you, this is a, an event that is, has been leading up to great change for some time. All right. So it just kind of depends on what your story is here. You can kind of for yourself develop the timeline. For those of you that this is resonating with, you you will be developing your own timeline. Uh, but for some of you, for smaller events, um, this could this tower could be taking place in the next seven to ten days. If it's not, um, it will um, likely um, sooner rather than later, before the end of the year or before February or however you want to. Um, build the timeline around for yourself. We do have um, new clarity coming in for you in the next seven to 10 days though. That's for sure. We have new clarity here. Um, there is something here that is bringing you out of the battle, bringing you out of the battle and um, bringing closer to, to you um, knowledge and information that will help you develop some sort of strategy for yourself as you work to um, firm up or to um, develop an exit strategy or to develop some sort of resolution of whatever this painful event is for you. Um, there is something happening here that you're able to begin disconnecting from. Um, I think that for you, um, you could have in the past really cared for this. If this was a job, you could have put all of your focus into this, all of your time into this. You could have worked at this for very, for a, a lot of hours over time. I'm really putting your heart and soul into this. this. If this is a marriage or some kind of commitment, um, you could have at one point in time really um, put all of your heart and soul into this. And you could have really cared about the trauma that was going on or about the, the heartache that was going on. You could have really tried to fix um, situations that were actually out of your control. Um, we do have the two of swords in reverse. So in, in, um, in the next immediate time frame, which is in the next couple of weeks or in the next month, um, you 
you will be making steps here in in this time frame to find clarity for yourself um, as you move through this situation. And as we know, when we go through transformations like this, no matter if they're a marriage, if no matter if they're a partnership that's that's needing to be revised, or a job that is that is being left, and and maybe you know whatever is happening here, uh, sometimes it does take a period of time to actually try to figure out what's going on. Um, and I like how you're doing this. You're looking at the situation. You're seeing the contrast here with the inequality. You're seeing the. The situation that is not fair. There is a situation here that is completely not fair. Something is not fair. Something is out of balance, most definitely, and it has to do with um, perhaps a business that you're in, or it has to do with your finances. It has to do with how you feel about your 3D experience, and there's something just not complete about it. There's some sort of event taking place where you could be losing money, or you could be just feeling like you 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 would be much happier with more security in your life with with it's this whatever this is this is a situation that has left you um, in a confused place in an embattled state um, feeling a lack of of financial stability and a lack of um, equality um, in your experience this. I'm telling you, I don't know what's happening, but I am connecting in with tribes of people um, who are beginning the journey of transformation. It's a, this is the theme for me this week, and, and it took me two full days. Monday and Tuesday, I worked to do these readings, and I was not able to um, read in a way that um, the energies are very, there is a, there's a lot of turmoil in the ethers right now. And I am connecting into um, about four or five signs now this this week, people that are beginning a transformation process. Um, some tribes, some groups of people are ending a transformation process and stepping into a new level. Some people are connecting in with new love partners. Um, these groups of people that I'm connecting into this week are starting a transformation process. And the beginning of transformation is always difficult it, it is always um, longer. It usually takes longer than we expect, all of these things. But what I like about this um, next couple of weeks for you, Gemini, is that you are beginning to see, beginning to find some real clarity in your path ahead. And for me, whenever I've gone through transformations, the most difficult period of time for me, um, just speaking for myself, was when I didn't have a plan, when I didn't have all the information I needed. And once I got the information, once the evidence was clear, it was much easier to, to form a plan of action because the clarity was there. So I do feel with this Ace of Swords here that your path will be determined. You will find more clarity of the information that you seek, and this will help you detach from efforts that you have been making in the past to almost in a way force something to work, to save something, to be the rescuer of something. There is a detachment from that energy now um, as you move forward. So we do have the Two of Swords coming in here. Um, so I do feel like there's some real clarity coming in. Um, a plan is being hatched. And you're, you're going to be able to um, begin to find some new sanctuary for yourself here where you're not really feeling that at this point. Um, you're feeling quite unsafe at this point. Um, but you have some really beautiful energies that are showing up. Um, these energies are here. Temperance is here. No, not temperance. Justice is here. Temperance is also here because it came out through my voice. So you're, you're beginning to find compassion for yourself. You're beginning to understand yourself a little bit better, um, a little bit more. Um, you're having patience for this situation, and um, you're you're beginning to um, just care for yourself in a different way, love on yourself a different way, um, find value in yourself in a different way. And even in these processes, um, even in these steps that you're taking for self-care and self-love, even these steps can help connect you in with clarity as you learn how to rest, find revival for yourself, connect in with the divine, um, find stillness and solace in your journey. Um, this kind of care can help bring clarity as well. 
So I do see clarity coming in for you in the next seven to 10 days. There is some major change going on here for you, um, but I see that you're handling it. Um, you are a powerful sign. You are a sign that can take a situation and, and adapt it and flex it and uh, make it better, make it happen. Um, you are a, um, an energy that can bend something in a certain way to find success with it. And I see you using these superpowers in the next couple of weeks to form um, a plan. So I think the next month or so, um, looking at these energies, um, you are developing a plan of action of how you're going to exit this situation, this Ten of Swords situation, because you are at the end of this level. You are at the end of this experience. I think you realize that um, you have tried your best, you have tried your hardest, and um, you can only control your own actions. You can't control the actions of another person. You can't control the actions of a company. You can't control the actions of a community. You can really only control the actions of your own self. And in this realization, um, you, have, you have decided to focus on your own happiness, to focus on your own freedom, to focus on your own healing. And when you do that, um, it, it, the path begins to clear and the fog will begin to lift. And that's what I see happening here in the next couple of weeks. Um, let's look at guidance to see what kind of guidance has come forward. Now there will be an extended reading where I'll dig deeper into um, some of these energies and I'll also be looking at um, the people around you and what their intentions are. Right now, let's look at guidance here. We do have the Nine of Swords with the Judgment Energy in reverse with the Magician in the upright. So the guidance that's coming forward is um, a reminder that there is there are consequences. There are consequences for behaviors. There is always consequences in life that um, sometimes the most devastating change can bring the most powerful rewards. Just in the moment when everything is crashing down, it's really hard to see what the future is. Um, but I can see that um, the guidance here is to continue to move forward to continue to build and to imagine and to create an, a new beautiful future. And sometimes as we do that, um, the structures around us, the foundations around us have to crumble and fall as we begin to manifest new joy and freedom um, and new experiences in our life. So there is a great change coming here for you. There is a great change. It is an improvement from the past, that's for sure, because we have it next to the Nine of Swords. So it's a great improvement from the past, and there is guidance here to keep moving forward in this, to not stop, to continue to find clarity, to continue to, um, to nurture that flame of passion within you, um, to continue to implement, to take steps forward, and to also always continue to um, build and nourish and um, revive the self-love, the self-awareness. Um, these energies are a little bit slow when I'm in it. The words are coming a little bit slow. So that tells me that you could be feeling like this process is slow. It could be hard for you to kind of, um, where you're normally quite adept at um, wit and thought forming um, this could be just a little bit of a slower process for you as you move through these denser energies. Um, there is guidance here to remind you that, um, that everything will be okay. That there is change and change can bring beautiful gifts to us in the future. To trust your guidance system, to trust your inner guidance and to trust your spiritual team and continue moving forward um, in this work in your life to continue moving forward we do have a king of pentacles in reverse here so um, there could be a taurus virgo capricorn energy that 
um, a very grounded energy, could be a businessman, could be a CEO, somebody that works with money, somebody that um, really is involved in the 3D, um, very much aware of the economy, very much um, minded in material items. Um, none of these descriptions are judgments. They are part of the King of Pentacles. And we all realize that we, um, if we are going to do powerful work in our human existence, that money and security is important and vital for that. So there's no nothing wrong with that. But the King of Pentacles is in reverse. So um, there is some insecurity, some worry, some um, dilemma around money, around finances, around the security and stability of your home and uh, of your money. Um, and there could be some sort of disconnection or conflict with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone who is um, has the energy of the King of Pentacles. There could also be a Libra here. as well. Let me go a little bit deeper into the King of Pentacles. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles, please. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. There's been a conflict here with the Five of Swords. I realize you can't see that. I have a smaller space I'm working with now. This is the first week. Um, I'm using a new tripod, and so I have a little bit smaller space to work in, but it allows you to see the cards much better. There's been some kind of a conflict here with the King of Pentacles or with your safety and security. It could be a job, it could be some kind of wage. Sun energy in reverse. There's new movement, there's new There's new movement now with this conflict. There's new, there's new vitality within you and desire to really buckle down and bring in new vitality, new healing, new empowerment um, into this sphere. So for many of you, this is about your safety and security, your financial world, um, your retirement plan, your overall picture of wealth. It is about this and how to establish this for yourself because living in insecurity, living in poverty, um, living in, um, from day to day or month to month, um, it's, it, it's, it's very hard to, to sustain that and to um, be in that path as you grow spiritually as a human being. So it's part, bringing in security and stability is part of ascension. It is part of um, our own growth, because to be powerful, to be uh, to have an impact in the world around us, we do need to feel stable. Um, whether that is living in a tiny home, or whether that is um, having a um, five million dollar retirement account, it just depends on what is stability and safety for you. Each and every one of us has a different idea of that. Um, I'm not talking about a certain realm of wealth i'm only talking about the emotions of security stability financial wealth and each of us search for that um, we search for a home that's stable we search for a home that's warm we search for um, a bank account with um, excess funds in it so if there's something goes wrong we have money to help us 